Yoko is, in her own words, is perceived as a witch and she's underappreciated. And so that gives us an opportunity to work with her material in a way that it would be harder to do with somebody who was kind of more universally appreciated. She has a very open and curious approach, which is something that is really inspirational. She was the most sort of hated woman in music for a while, like so unfairly that I think, obviously like as an Asian woman, I sided with her and saw her as a very deep and complex artist that was being unfairly judged by the world and how difficult that must have been. And it became very symbolic for me. She is one of the only people that you just don't get to figure out. She's got a lot of stuff out there and really beautiful, strange songs. It's really unbelievable. If you think this is how she's going to present herself to the world doing this, it's not even a stylistic thing. It's just an insane creation of self. To her, it's all from the heart. It's all music. It's not, oh, this is, I'm doing this now or I'm doing this now. It's like, I'm just me all the time. Throughout making this song, throughout learning more about her now, it's it, the question has always been, why couldn't I have learned more about her as I was growing up? Why didn't I seek it out? And it's there's so many barriers that you are conscious or unconscious of. We see her over and over kind of stepping outside of her comfort zone as an artist. Nowhere is her fearlessness more on display than in her songwriting. And I believe that when people really start to tune into this music, they will recognize it for what it is, which is brilliant, vibrant, important music that truly exists amongst the best music that was made in its time. It's very important to me that people get a chance to really understand what Yoko's music is all about. Yoko makes art that teaches all of us that peace is possible. All the artists here have a very special relationship with Yoko's music. My hope is that for a number of people who hear this music for the first time, that they'll have their idea of Yoko Ono completely flipped upside down.